Welcome back on my channel to another Windows 10 video where I want to talk about tiling. So if you want to use tiling, you have the standard tiling that Windows offers. You can just um, expand the windows by uh, dragging them to the side. And here you've got the normal selection that Windows offers. And you can, for example, uh, tile like this in um, different ways, but only you can only half um, tile the desktop and not more than this. So in another video, I already explained to you that you can use the Windows Power Toys to install fancy zones. And if I here go into the layout editor for fancy zones, they provide you with different rasters. So these are um, additional um, layouts that you can choose. And I've here configured some for my own, just this um, uh, two by two layout. And uh, my favorite layout is this one where I've got uh, one main window and two uh, secondary windows like you perhaps would use it under Linux. So if I then drag a window with shift, I can uh, yeah, um, attach it to this um, tile that I've created. And so Fancy Zones um, allows me to uh, manually tile my windows um, so that I've got them in this raster that I've predefined. But there is even another way to do this. And uh, for that, I must go here into the um, settings and disable Fancy Zones. So um, now this uh, tiling feature of the Power Toys is disabled. If I press Shift, I have no longer the um, windows like that. And I can use um, Fancy VM, uh, Fancy WM. That's another tiling application that you can get from the Microsoft Store. So if I just start it, it sits here in the um, yeah in my taskbar. And now the tiling is already working. So I can just open a window and this is a dynamic tiling. So just when I open the window, it tiles itself. If I open another window, I get the normal tiling behavior, uh, behavior um, like we would expect. Um, the only uh, downside is if I now open another window, I cannot auto tile in um, a spiral, uh, I can only auto tile in, um, yeah, like um, divide it by, by a third. So that's the normal version, how it works with this tiling. But I can also here um, get into different modes like a horizontal or vertical tiling. So I can create a vertical tiling group and just drag the window here into it. And now I've got um, dynamic tiling with this, uh, with the whole um, applications like you would uh, normally have it under Linux. And uh, the only thing I must tie manually is when I uh, don't want to tie horizontally, but I want to tie vertically. And you can here even um, use this as a group with tabs. You can put as many windows into the tab groups as you want. Um, it works quite nicely for me. Most of the time what I do is I will only have it um, split uh, because most of the time uh, I have one main window and one side window like PDF or something. And my monitor isn't very um, big, so I can't use um, this horizontal tiling by thirds. Um, but if you have got a right screen monitor, for example, I think it's even great to use the standard tiling fancy VM offers. So you can have um, two documents and the main window open. And uh, yeah, it's, I just wanted to show you the alternative um, to the fancy um, zones. Uh, here you have a real dynamic tiling in, um, in Windows and it works quite nicely. And uh, yeah, so a good opportunity to use that and uh, you can try out how this affects your workflow. In my opinion, it's much better than um, pushing around the windows by hand and having all this floating window windows um, like Windows 10 uh, used to function. It's really a great addition. And uh, if you don't know this application, give it a try. It's 
in the Microsoft Store and can be installed from there. Yeah, so thank you for watching. Have a nice day and uh, perhaps give it a try. Bye.